I'm excited to show you how I make my family's favorite herbal salve. We've used it for many years. It works for everything. Insect bites, bruises, rashes, burns, you name it, this is gonna work for it. And when you're finished, you can pour it into, it'll be liquid when you finish, and you can pour it into these little tins, and when it cools, it firms up to this nice, beautiful texture, and you can just tuck these tins everywhere. And the first thing you need to do is fill a mason jar two-thirds full with your herbs of choice, and I like to use a blend of nine different herbs, calendula flowers, plantain leaf, English lavender flowers, echinacea herb and root, rosemary leaf, comfrey leaf, St. John's wort. Once you've got your mason jar two thirds full of the herbs, you're gonna go ahead and pour in a cup of coconut oil and a cup of extra virgin olive oil until the oil comes to roughly an inch or so to the top. You can also use two cups of each if you prefer. And you're gonna screw on the lid. And you're gonna put it into the bottom of a crock pot or a slow cooker that is lined with a cotton rag. And you're going to Pour in water. Once you have the water level to the top of the oil in the jar, you're gonna turn your crock pot or your slow cooker on warm to get the water nice and hot but not boiling and let the oil infuse with the herbs for 72 hours. You're gonna to need to top up the water as needed. And once the 72 hours is up, you're going to remove this jar from the water and strain out the herbs and you'll have a wonderfully infused herbal oil which you can then add some beeswax to melt that beeswax in there to make a nice thickened salve and put in containers so i've now infused the herbs in the oil for three days on warm in a slow cooker and i'm now going to strain out the oil so you line a large bowl with a tea towel and get everything into the bowl. So I've now got all the herbs and the oil in a tea towel on the inside of this bowl and I'm gonna gather up the ends and I'm gonna hang it from this uh, cabinet and let it all drip into the bowl. As you can see, I've now attached the bag to the cabinet and I'm dripping the herbal infused oil into the bowl. And once this process stops dripping, I'll squeeze the bag to get any excess oil out. The next step is to take your herbal infused oil and if you want to, add some beeswax to it to thicken it up before um, you put it into your salve tins. So the oil is still warm uh, after separating it from the herbs. You go ahead and put it into a pot and you're gonna add three ounces of beeswax per cup of oil, and I have almost exactly two cups of oil. So I've got two thirds of a cup, which is six ounces of beeswax that I'm gonna pour in here. And I'm gonna turn the heat on, medium to low, and I'm just gonna stir this beeswax in until it's nice and melted. You don't need to boil it, you don't need to make it too hot, you just want it to melt, that's all, and be evenly distributed. Once the beeswax is fully dissolved in the oil, you'll, it will basically be clear and you won't notice the consistency has changed much. But once you pour it into these tins, I, I recommend tins for the salve of various sizes that you can put in each bathroom, tuck in you know, travel bags and the like. Once it comes to room temperature, it will firm up into a nice salve consistency. When you're finished, you pour your salve into these little tins. And of course it's dark and liquid when you pour it in. You gotta do it quickly before it cools because it quickly firms up because of the beeswax into this lovely salve-like texture. 